हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट टू पार्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनाल दैट इज स्मॉल एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन हेयर इन द डायग्राम यू कैन सी जस्ट दिस इज अबाउट स्टमक अ स्मॉलर पोर्सन ऑफ लिवर गॉल ब्लैडर पैंक्रियाज एंड होल ऑफ द इंटेस्टाइन इंक्लूडिंग स्मॉल एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन सो फर्स्ट अबाउट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनाल इट्स लेंथ इज नियरली सिक्स एंड हाफ मीटर एज वी नो अर्लियर द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनाल इज नियरली सिक्स टू नाइन मीटर सो दिस इज वेरिएबल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द हाइट ऑफ एनी इंडिविजुअल पर्सन एंड ऑन दैट बेसिस द लेंथ ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज ऑल्सो वेरिएबल नाउ द नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन वेन वी कंपेयर देयर लेंथ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एज वी डिस्कस इज नियरली सिक्स एंड हाफ मीटर लॉन्ग वाइल लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन इज नियरली वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर लॉन्ग देन वाई दिस इज नोन एज स्मॉल वाइल द नेक्स्ट वन इज एज लार्ज दिस इज नॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लेंथ बट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर विथ और डायामीटर द डायामीटर ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज नियरली थ्री टू फोर सेंटीमीटर वाइल द डायामीटर ऑफ लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन इज नियरली फोर टू सिक्स मीटर ऑन दैट बेसिस दे आर नेम्ड नाउ अबाउट द पार्ट्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन सो यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम देर आर थ्री पार्ट्स ड्यूडेनम जेजुनम एंड इलियम फर्स्ट दिस इज अबाउट ड्यूडेनम so duodenum is the smallest portion of a small intestine this you can see easily here c shape structure sometime given as u shape structure and by this duodenum you can see also the connectivity of liver gall bladder as well as pancreas by hepato pancreatic duct this also known as ampulla of water here in this diagram you can see very clearly about the both hepatic duct that are originated from right and left part of liver now cystic duct that originated from gall bladder they unite to form common bile duct this common bile duct is connected with main pancreatic duct they both unite to form hepato pancreatic duct or ampulla of water this ampulla of water opens in the duodenal region of A small intestine. Now the second part of a small intestine is jejunum, that is nearly two and half meter long. While the third one is ileum, that is the longest part of a small intestine. Its length is nearly three and half meter long. So here we earlier discussed about two spellings of ileum, I L E U M and I L I U M. So I L E U M is about the last longest part of a small intestine while i l i u m is about one of the bone of pelvic girdle or we can say this is a part of coxal bone there are three bones that unite to form coxal bone ileum ischium and pubis so ileum i l i u m is for that particular one now when we see the anatomy of a small intestine here in the diagram you can see there is a number of circular folds these circular folds are known as pleki circularis or valve of kirkrings these infoldings are for increasing surface area or we can say this is for maximizing metabolic activities here on the surface of these pleki circularis you can also see further there is a number of fine finger like projections these projections provide a small intestine internally as a brush bordered appearance and again this further increases the surface area these villi is for maximizing the process of absorption that occurs after the digestion now when we see about a single villi inside as here you can see in the diagram then internally each villi carrying a number of blood capillaries and these blood capillaries you can see are present around a lymph vessel or lymph capillary that is known as lacteal so this lacteal is for absorption of 
lipid substances from the digestive tract while rest of the substances like protein carbohydrate they directly absorbed in the blood capillaries of this villi further again here in this diagram you can see the last part of small intestine that is ileum is connected with the first part of large intestine that is cecum and this connectivity is guarded by or protected by a valve or sphincter that is known as ileocecal valve or this connection is also known as ileocecal junctions so what is the function of intestine if we discuss in a line a small intestine is for complete digestion of food material here there will be secretion of pancreatic juice bile juice as well as intestinal juice so maximum and final digestion occurs here in small intestine the rest portion how digestion occurs what are the intestinal glands what are the structures further we will discuss in the anatomy or structure part of alimentary canal particularly related with small intestine now the next one is large intestine so here large intestine its length is about 1.5 meter as we earlier discussed this is known as large not on the basis of length with respect to a small intestine but on the basis of diameter so its diameter is 4 to 6 cm and there are further three part in large intestine these three are cecum colon and rectum so first this is cecum cecum is a very small blind sac that carries a number of symbiotic bacteria the cecum is highly developed in herbivore animals like in case of rabbit horse etc from this cecum you can see downside a very small projections that is also appearing like a finger or appearing like a worm that's why this known as wormy form appendix and this is vestigial in case of human beings while functional in case of herbivore animals so both cecum as well as wormy form appendix or appendix they are highly functional they are highly developed in herbivore animals they both are related with cellulosic digestion while human cannot digest cellulose because of absence of the respective enzyme and because of the rudimentary nature or vestigial nature of cecum as well as wormy form appendix the next part is colon so here colon you can see divided into four parts ascending colon transverse colon descending colon and the last one is sigmoid or pelvic colon you can see about the appearance this is appearing like inverted u shape the colon carrying three longitudinal bands out of that three you can see the single one which is going through the mid of large intestine this bands are known as teeny coli and inside there is a number of a small pouches of large intestine that is known as hostra the last part of large intestine is rectum so rectum is concerned with storage of feces or we can say excreta the rectum terminates by a opening which is known as anus and this anus carrying further two sphincters or valve we can say the inner one that is away from anus is known as internal valve or involuntary valve why because this is composed by smooth muscles and as we know smooth muscles are involuntary that's why involuntary valve while the external one that is very close to anus is known as external because of their presence or because this is composed by striped or striated muscles so known as voluntary valve now about the function of large intestine so large intestine is mainly for absorption of water and mineral and for elimination of solid waste a very small quantity of vitamin k as well as vitamin b complex are also synthesized by the bacteria which are present in large intestine so here this is about everything as we discuss with the help of diagram the first one is small intestine where as we discuss this is the longest part of alimentary canal and its length is nearly 6 and 1/2 meter here this is given 6.25 roughly this is variable so we may consider 6 and 1/2 meter 
and the name is small intestine is not because of the length but because of the diameter as we discuss its diameter is 3 to 4 cm with respect to large intestine which is carrying 4 to 6 cm diameter and as we discuss the length of a small intestine is variable with respect to height of the individual's body that's why this may also be more or less with respect to the 6.5 meter now the parts we discussed there are three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum so duodenum this is c or u shaped structure its length we discuss this is nearly 25 centimeter that's why the smallest part of a small intestine we discuss a small intestine connected with the hepatopancreatic duct and hepatopancreatic duct or ampulla of water this is the combined opening of liver gallbladder as well as pancreas the second part of a small intestine is jejunum its length we discuss is moderate means more than duodenum as well as less than ileum so this is 2.5 meter long the last third part this is the longest one highly coiled part of a small intestine that is nearly three and half meter long the entire length of a small intestine as we discuss carries a number of small nodules these nodules are lymphatic or composed by lymphatic tissue known as pears patches these pears patches are responsible for synthesis of lymphocytes that is a type of white blood cells there are numerous finger like projections which are present inside the inner folds of inner circular folds of a small intestine these projections are villi and they are for increasing surface area for maximizing the absorption of digested food when we see anatomy of every and each villi internally then they have a number of blood capillaries and these blood capillaries are just around lymph capillaries the lymph capillary is known as lacteal and lacteal as we discuss is for absorption of lipid or fat while rest of the food material like carbohydrate and protein directly absorbed by the blood capillaries while lipid absorbed in form of chylomicrons with the help of lacteal now as we discuss in the wall of small intestine especially in middle region that is jejunum and last region that is ileum there is a number of circular folds and these circular folds are known as plicae circularis or valve of kirkrings and they are also for increasing surface area for maximum absorption and over these circular layers we discuss there is presence of a fine small projections that are villi a small intestine connected as we discuss with large intestine by the first part of large intestine that is cecum and last part of small intestine is ileum so this is by ileocecal valve or ileocecal junction function of a small intestine is just to complete the process of digestion like carbohydrate protein nucleic acid and lipid because there is all kind of enzymes which are present in a small intestine secreted by pancreas as well as small intestine the next one is about large intestine so as we discuss about the length of large intestine that is 1.5 meter but its name is not according to length its name is because of their diameter which is comparatively more with respect to small intestine its diameter is nearly 4 to 6 cm long large intestine we also discussed there are three parts cecum colon and rectum cecum this is a very small blind sac that carries a number of symbiotic microbes or bacteria the cecum is highly developed in case of herbivore animals like cattle cow rabbit horse goat etc while in case of human beings this is very less functional from cecum there is a very small blind outgrowth that is known as vermiform appendix because of their worm like appearance because of their finger like appearance this is vestigial in case of human beings so cecum and appendix we discuss they both are highly functional in case of herbivore animals while in human beings they are very less functional the second part of large intestine is colon and as we discussed this divided into four parts ascending transverse descending and sigmoid or pelvic colon this appears like inverted u shape and on the surface of colon there are three longitudinal bands these bands are called as tinicoli and internally colon carries a number of pouches these pouches are known as hostra 
the third and last part of large intestine is rectum this is concerned with the storage of feces that is undigested food material and this rectum terminated out with the help of anus we discuss in the last of anus there are two sphincters or two valves out of these two the inner one that is away from anus is composed by smooth muscles so known as involuntary sphincter while the outer one that is composed by striped or striated muscles so known as voluntary sphincters these two sphincters regulate the removal of feces from our digestive tract now the second last is about function of large intestine so large intestine is for absorption of water and mineral and also for elimination of undigested food that is solid waste a very small quantity as we discuss of vitamins like vitamin k and b complex are also synthesized by large intestine bacteria or microbes